That's totally been burned. This is not what I was expecting in that. Just keep turning, 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 turning around, turning around. <laughs> I shot my whole off. <laughs> Dude, 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 this is, this awesome. is it. I hope it smells like stinky meat. One of the best things about vacation, Nathan, for you, getting to watch Spongebob. <laughs> I found Bigfoot. It looks like he's taking a bath this morning. All right, we've done it. We are packed. We were hoping to leave at 8. I'm thinking it's 8.40. We're on our way to leave south to San Francisco via Napa Valley. So, new stuff today. Long day. It should be fantastic and eventually wind up home and in bed. It'll be great. I don't know if you can see it, but I just noticed Nathan's ultra grubby little salty handprints. Imagine that, we're turning around again. <laughs> we forgot to check out. I knew something was wrong when we didn't have our coffees. All right, take two of leaving. We have our coffees. Nathan got a hot chocolate. And, as I discovered a couple days ago, I snagged another Swiss Miss for our medical bag, because it's easy to give Nathan Miralax. So, that'll be in his bag for him. Look at that, Nathan. Do you see how that's all gray? They're still green, but the trees don't... Well, I can't see the trees don't even lose. That's totally been burned. That's totally been burned. That's a long way of going stuff. Look at that. So this whole ridge... that have leaves around his house and all the trees behind it that don't. of Napa and it's beautiful. I believe this is St. Helena. Nathan's pretty exhausted. Oh, good. We need to look for my charcuterie. Shh. Don't tell them we had to turn around again. All right, I've had the charcuterie in my mind 
for like uh, many, many weeks. I don't even know where I found out about it. So Oak, we're gonna take a right on Oak. That's this one here? Charter Oak, yeah, that one, here. Oh, oh look, we don't have to turn around. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> I hope they speak French there. I don't know about that. I hope it smells like stinky meat. That's my, that's what I hope. Ah, we found it! And they're open! Way. Yay! <gasps> so excited! Okay, that was kind of annoying. You don't want to go check out the stinky meat? No. They have, they have meat. <laughs> did I say, that, did I mention they have meat? Why are you shining? I know. Hi. Hi. Yeah? Sorry, we're being touristy. <laughs> we planned our whole vacation around coming to this place. Oh, awesome. We love Genoa Salami. <laughs> Nathan noticed there's a train track on the floor. Really cool place. Totally not disappointed. Mushroom. <laughs> okay, I know it's a little weird because it's a bathroom, but this is like the cutest little place. It's just it's a little like farmhouse barn that the charcuterie is in. So, for those of you who haven't been here like myself, don't take credit cards, so you have to keep that in mind. I gotta go to the car and steal my son's quarter so I can buy myself some salami. All right, like I said, if you come here, you gotta bring cash. We got our quarters. The man is gracious enough to get us five dollars and twenty-five cents worth of cheese. Are we are. That's that's cheese with truffles in it. Have you ever had truffles? I know they're this hooty snooty thing that people try to use too much of, and then they always get docked for it in their cooking recipes. Yeah, you got it. It's, this is eight bucks worth. Yeah, right. We love you. We're coming right. from Alaska. Thank Good. you so much. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, it's an orange tree. Hey, look at that. All right, this orange is super fragrant. None of us have ever had fresh off the tree oranges. I don't think ever. Yay. Here you go, Dad. Here you go, Nathan. There's some fresh orange right off the cheese. Yep. Oh, hang on on the cheese. Thank you. <laughs> it's not the sweetest. I don't know how ripe it is. Whoa. A little tart. That's, what is that? <laughs> I have some. I have some um, cheese. I have some provolone left and a provolone left inside of salami. Yes, this was what he wanted. He absolutely had to have this. Genoa salami. A provolone cheese. It's good. It is very good. Did you get some enzymes? We'll get you some. Good choice, Nathan. Good choice. Okay, Nathan, so here's a little bit of cheese. It's made with a type of mushroom called truffle. Truffles grow underneath the ground in France and Italy. And because you can't see them, they use pigs to sniff them out and find them. That's good. That's pretty good, huh? I've never had truffle before. I think I knew it was a type of mushroom, but um, never really paid attention. Very, very fragrant. That's pretty cool. Truffle cheese. Alright, so here's a piece of salami with a natural casing. I took the casing off for you. That's um, pork with garlic and burgundy. Burgundy is a type of wine, a red wine. We made sure we got you something that wasn't spicy. That's good. This is my roll. High tech. In the car system, dull knife. Oh. Yeah. We have 
perfect storm. <laughs> we'll get daddy some. Alright, nobody's died yet with my knife skills. Thank you. Yeah. I died. Nathan wants more of the truffle cheese. <coughs> Pretty good stuff. Maybe we're getting some of those ingredients for cooking within our house. I love you. Are you having a good time? Yes, I am. What's your favorite thing so far today? Yes, I am. My cheese. My cheese. <laughs> yeah. I say everything twice. I say everything twice. He saw that uh, Janelle salami. He's like, Mom, this is what I want. This is what I want. This is what I want. That was it. That was all he wanted. That was what he wanted. He found the one wrapped with cheese, and that was the deal. That's what he wanted. So. If you had to choose between Reese's peanut butter cups and uh, cheese and salami and slushies. Slushies. Slushies still have magical powers. Yeah. So just for a little bit of backstory, I found out about Matt by looking on a Facebook group. He had a photo, photos of himself looking at, checking out his lungs when he got his Can double lung transplant. Lungs? We can look them up on Facebook. Yep, Matt Defina, and uh, you know, it was just one of the really, uh, just a unique thing that you don't normally get to see. And so I contacted him. I don't know what I said or if I just maybe you stalked him. I usually you Facebook stalk people. Him. So we kind of, we became friends. So when we planned the trip to California, one of the things that I really wanted to do was try to um, hunt him down. As you probably know from our previous video, we had planned on having coffee or something like that, but because of different bacteria that um, in this instance would be more harmful to Matt with his new lungs. It takes an incredible amount of work to keep up new lungs. And so we kind of just switched it up really quickly, stopped in and said hello. Um, we wanted to purchase some of his wines and support him. All of the wines that he sells, a percentage goes to the CF Foundation or other CF fundraisers. And they are his own wines. He owns two vineyards, Reverence and, and Courtney. And he has a winemaker who makes wine from his grapes. I'm going to pretend like I'm here to film the gray squirrel, and really, we're turning around again. Oh, I like doing circles. Yeah. Okay, I said we said that. He has Jesus. This is our friend Matt and his daughter Gracie. How nice to meet you. Hi, guys. Nathan's saying hi. He's going to hang out over there. <laughs> Nobody's going to make each other sick. We get it. Anyway, super. It's very nice to meet you guys. Nice oh, to meet terrible you. Terrible videoing. Thanks for stopping by. Andrew, Good. Matt Defina. Nice Matt. to meet you. Great to meet you. What was your name? Andrew. Andrew. Good to meet you, Andrew. Nice to meet you, too. I'll stand on... Maybe Nathan can stand next to you and I'll stand on the other side. There you go. Go stand by Dad. He's going to stand next to you and Nathan's going to stand on your other side. Go stand by Dad. We're going to get a picture together. Can I take a picture with you? Yay! Thank you guys so much. You're welcome. Fantastic to meet you. Thanks for sharing your story. Guys. And we're looking forward to our wine. Hey, you keep up the good work, Nathan. Yeah, he's... <laughs> he's kind of a clown. It was a pleasure to meet both of you. Safe travels to San Francisco. And Gracie, so nice to meet you. So I wish I'd recorded more of the conversation. He shared all about being part of the U.S. Uh, well, doing the transplant Olympics in Salt Lake City and I think Chicago. Uh, but then he also went to Spain with the U.S. team. Um, he's competed in a lot of different things, racquetball, volleyball, basketball. I think he said javelin, like a variety of different things. Um, and he's gotten seven gold medals in the U.S. And then he got a couple May, over May, it's in May Spain. And May. It's May and May. Yeah. So uh, what I'm going to do is, he says he's got some videos on Facebook and maybe I'll plug those in here and give us permission and you guys can see a little bit about what he does to stay healthy and also to just, you know, support awareness of uh, transplants and whatever else and yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, he does, Nathan.
<laughs> he is 40 years old. He's 40? He's 40. He had his transplant five years ago. He went from being really sick and he couldn't and he was on oxygen all the time to getting new lungs and now he can run and do and compete. Yep, I thought he was gonna look different than he did. I think that's really neat. That's really cool. I really appreciate him taking his time. What are we gonna do? That so that over there, that, that goes to San Francisco? To the right, right? And we're we're going to the left? That would be correct. It wasn't because I was busy filming. Hey, there was a bird. I saw the sign, and I went the wrong way anyway. I saw the sign. Do, do, do. Now I'm turning around. I saw the sign. Then like that didn't happen. Where's the next? Well, I have officially been into a Dollar Tree now. We are really thirsty. And since we're doing loops around the neighborhood, turning around again, I thought I'd stop in to get some water. Wow, that's a lot of city. Oh, wow, that is. We came on on Lombard Street, and we're hoping that if we just drive it all the way down, we end up on that twisty street, which would be super cool. All right, looking at the hills that go up. Right, Nathan? <laughs> what do you know about San Francisco? There's lots of hills, and it's got bigger buildings in England. There's a double-decker bus, Nathan. Wow, that's a big, so tall. Super Nathan. We might get to do something really cool that we only get to see in like TV. We're going up this Look at that super steep hill. Nathan, this is cool. This is like whoa. This is really This steep. is really steep. This is really Garage doors. Wow. This, this, this is, is really cool, Nathan. And it's really high. And it's really high. And I can see the rest of the city down there. Can you? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh man. Alright, here we go. Dude, this is, dude, 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 this is, this is it. Is this like the most famous This road? is like super famous. We found the twisty road. Dude, this is totally it. No, this is totally it. Pretty cool. Yeah. You want to pay for part three dollars? Three dollars each, fifteen minutes. All right. So this is the wharf. So there's piers down here to go to that have stuff on them. It's a pretty busy place. That crab restaurant was what uh, Matt Defina suggested. So it's a little bigger than Seward. Look at this one-man band, Nathan. One man. He's to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give you a five minute break dance show. That must be the Bay Bridge out there coming from Oakland. There's a trolley, Nathan. Wow, they're noisy. You said that you felt this trip was great for you and I, but not so much for Nathan. Well, we're doing so much driving, it's getting kind of. I can see how it's boring for him. Inclined to agree. All right, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't panicking just a little bit. We took like every wrong way. Oh, imagine that! You turned and you turned and you turned. Getting out of the airport, no big deal. Getting back to the airport, unbelievable. I can't believe how big the city is. It's crazy. Anyway, we have about an hour and a half to get checked. 
we got our car returned, we just have an hour and a half to get checked in and get to our gate. I think we'll be just fine. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it. Which last name? All right. Spell your last name. Mm -hmm. This is a bad time to have to go pee. It does, doesn't it? Not Reese's, I mean. Uh... Who's smelling? Smells like Oreos. Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it to our flight? Uh, yeah. Sweet. Hey. Oh, you got all three. All right then. Now everyone's gonna see. All right. Airlines flight three four nine zero two zero. Yes. Okay, here you go, my friend. See you soon. We're in seat five fifty three. It's a big plane. parking so our truck is warm and ready for us look at these easy to navigate interchanges oh look so straightforward no loop de doos time to find out did our wine make it I, I think I might have. there's the cool bag we got look at that they made it and our vinegar. Oh, that's right. My caper berries. All right. Obviously, we've made it home. It's like 3:30 in the morning. Got Taco Bell. We just sort of farted around the house for a little bit. Did CPT with Nathan, and everybody is shot. We're all ready for bed. You ready for bed? He just asked, Mom, can you go to bed? Because he's ready for bed. We're all really tired. We get to sleep in tomorrow. And have and, kids. And, and then yep. the day after that, we're going to have kids. Yep, we're off for a couple, for, for one more day. <laughs> but we have all three of the next Mondays off. Christmas is coming up, and anyway. We'll finish getting our videos put together, and I think tomorrow maybe we'll talk about uh, just some of the different things that we did on our trip, how, how, how they went well. I usually mull things over in my head for days, like what, you know, what I got to do, how excited I was, what didn't go well, what my favorite things were. So I'm sure there'll be plenty for us to talk about and share, and maybe we can get some input from you guys. So in the meantime, have a good night.